Okay. Another tip for the new seekers, please be aware of fear tactics. Now, I touched on this in the beginning, but I'll just read it. I'll keep a good eye out for fear tactics, hard sell techniques, unrelenting pressure, or co coercion in any form. These all push us farther away from truth than bring us to truth. If you are told you better come under our path or you're going to hell. Now, we've all heard that. OK, OK, fine. If that's what they feel, that's fine. But that's fear. We, don't, we can't worship God, spirit, and our true self out of fear. God is love. The only way you're going to get closer to God is through the law of love. So, you new seekers, watch out for the fear techniques because they're trying to be slippery. They're trying to give you a hard sell. See? And you don't, you don't want to go into to spirituality out of fear. You want to go in out of love and being drawn from the depths of your being. And you just can't say no. That's, that's how God's going and Spirit's going to draw you in, into the path. So if you run into the fear techniques and the hard pressure sales, big money, cultic posturing, the world is more important than the spiritual realms, then please be wary. I can't stop you from enlisting or uh, joining a group like that. I'm just trying to give you tips to help you discern where or what you want to get involved with. Okay. Okay. Next tip. Learn to relax in your investigative period. Learn to relax. Some of these things you're trying to find out, even when you're looking at me or this path, it may take quite a while for you just to understand the teachings. Don't put pressure on yourself. Don't think you're a super genius and you can just know everything about something. Usually our mind comes into a meeting and it wants to okay the teachings that that master is giving. There's some people in here that want, they want to listen to what I'm saying and say, well, yeah, I like that point, but this karma point, nah, I don't want anything to do with the law of karma. I don't want, well, you see, that's a mental preference. We don't really have any say what the divine deity has set up, and that's something that we kind of have to accept. We just can't pick and choose what we want and what we don't want. But in your investigation, you got to learn to relax. And you say, but Gary, if I relax, if I don't get involved and make this decision, who is? I know of two or three other higher powers within your being that would help you make a decision that would far exceed your own mind. Your soul, for starters. The master, secondly. The great spirit, thirdly. And God, fourthly. You've got powers within you. You've got the power of thought, volition, the power of desire, the power of feeling. You've got these powers, but they're not your only powers. You have the power of soul, the power of direct perception, the power of spirit and God within you. Within you now, not out, within you. These powers are the ones that are jacking you up or inspiring you to make the pursuit you are. They're the ones that are making you uncomfortable with your present life and want you to become a better person. The whole objective of spirituality is to evolve a higher consciousness within you. And so these powers within us, these higher powers that we're not aware of, are going to be helping you by intuitive flashes, by dreams, by maybe trips out of your physical consciousness, by new writings. They're actually going to guide your footsteps. And so please don't feel the pressure like, I've got to decide, and it's only me against the entire world. That is not true. So relax, please. Relax in your search, because there's other powers within you that are willing to help you. And if you can open up and be receptive to them, you'll make great gains 
and trying to decipher and determine if this teaching, this master, this doctrine is for you. It's fail safe. Every one of us are gods. Every one of us are divine. And if you think you're left out here in the cold universe floating on a planet that's not falling out of space and you're all alone, may I lovingly say you're dead wrong. You didn't come from this earth planet. You didn't come from mommy and daddy. You didn't come from the five elements of this earth. You came from the highest heavens. You were created by a divine deity. And if you are living in a physical body, you can bet your last dollar that you've got a soul within you. You can take that to the bank. You might not believe it, but there's no way you could be living if you didn't have a divine essence within you. And that's all that translation is. When your spirit leaves your body, you drop over dead. When spirit comes into your body, you pop up alive. We're spiritual beings. We're not just a mind, we're not just an emotion, and we're not just a body. Okay. I hope I'm not being too dramatic. I'm really trying to help the new, uh, the new seekers. Quick point, no soul will ever be annihilated. No soul will ever be annihilated. The concept that you will burn in hell or be damned to hell for eternity is completely false. Satan does not have the power to create a soul or destroy a soul. Please remember that. Any path that you check out that starts giving you this rap, be wary. If you want to get into it, fine. But then that's a put down. Whatever God creates stands for eternity. And God created the soul. We are a drop from the ocean of love and mercy. We have the same essence and attributes as God. The whole objective is to take that drop and get it back to the ocean. That's the objective. No soul can ever be annihilated. OK. Another quick point, your checkered past has no bearing on the present moment. If you don't have a checkered past, I have pity for you. Some of my biggest lessons and experiences were from my checkered past, you know, what, whatever that's supposed to be. I'm sure it's the same with you. Drug trips, booze trips, jail trips, divorces, abortions, children you kept, jobs you were fired from, embarrassing and humiliating experiences, social censorship, all those things that just makes our mind and emotions crawl just like, oh, geez, and puts us in shame. No. Do not be concerned about your checkered past. Let me tell you something, dear ones. The greater the sinner, the greater the saint. Remember that. 